Hey guys, I uh, I got a, three permissions just recently, and uh, I started hunting them. Uh, started hunting the one, and uh, I uh, ran into all this rain. And then uh, two days ago, we got snow. We got about three inches, so haven't been able to hunt for about the last week and a half. But uh, I hunted the uh, the yard over there, the side yard in that one house, and then. Uh, I'll show a couple of random hunts, one in the yard and uh, one at that old house. They uh, started taking down the house. It's about half gone. That was the place where I found the uh, 1700 uh, pistarine cut in half. That was an awesome find. And I made a couple more finds over there. So uh, check it out. I got uh, three new permissions yesterday, and uh, this is uh, one of them. And I actually looked at this house to maybe buy before I got the one I got now. It's uh, 1852, and inside of it is a uh, cabin from probably the late 1700s. There's uh, rumors that a, uh, well, not rumors, but there was a Confederate soldier killed by the Yankees here and then they shot through a uh, trunk that is the wife and uh, was on top of a baby in a trunk hiding and the bullet went through both of them and killed them so this place is haunted a bunch of people have told me like three or four people already uh, told me the story so it's a pretty big property Fairly big yard. I can hunt all over there too. All right. All right. I finally got something fairly cool. Old plated spoon. It's got something on the back here, but my old eyes can't read it. Maybe somebody else can. Dug this down pretty deep. It's cr Unfortunately, it's cracking and right across there, but you can see where it's attached to something here. It's like almost like a badge or something. I can't make any writing on it yet. All right. First coin I've gotten in the yard, not even a modern penny. This coin I uh, dug, I uh, cleaned it up. I saw one uh, almost exactly like it. And in fact, I think it might be the same one. Uh, they were dated 1744 to about 1790. Um, these, these coins stayed in circulation for hundreds of years. I saw one example on uh, eBay and it said, uh, it's like a token not for sale or, or no uh, cash value. But I also heard that uh, Civil War soldiers kept these as uh, good luck symbols or good luck tokens. So that was pretty cool. All right. Penny or 53, 53D or S, I think. Can't tell for sure. But uh, back over here at this spot today. Same area with, that I was with the mine lab and found this. 
the second week penny I've gotten today. And I just dug this big piece of iron. This Dover. Let's see. Sure, what that is. Pretty heavy, though. Hey, I uh, I dug the uh, piece of iron up the other day, and uh, when I was cleaning it off, it says Dover uh, number nine one two. Sad iron. Um, this is actually a flat iron, probably from eighteen seventy through the early nineteen hundreds, and uh, I got it pretty cleaned up. I got most of the rust off of it, but uh, I used uh, CLR and, uh, and a wire brush. It came out pretty good, but um, see how big it is in my hand. But um, <clears throat> they use these as uh, like door stops and stuff. But uh, I've seen them anywhere from twenty to thirty-five dollars, um, so they're fairly collectible. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. We've been uh, getting a bunch of snow and stuff, so I'm hoping to hunt maybe next week, but uh, it's not looking good. It's really wet. Ran on my sidewalk, and uh, I thought there was trash sitting here. And there's some money. It's like a couple ones. And there's some more right here. So that's pretty cool. Look around and see if I can find some more. <laughs> I'm always looking for coins. I can't find coins, and I find a bunch of dollars. 